Hey guys, and welcome back to Watch the Not Including Clay's Amazing Space Colony Adventure Extraordinaire. My name is Twitchy, and things are going badly, badly wrong for us. Of course they are. We uh, have had a small slick problem over here. The carbon from the coal generator was dri dribbling its way down and being eaten by three creatures that I had down here called Slicksters. They were converting that into oil, which I was then going to turn into uh, petroleum and use it to power the base and do all sorts of wonderful things, but unfortunately they died. And I was very unsure as to why they died at the time, but it turns out it was too cold. It's too cold. They, they, they like hot temperatures, and uh, I, I didn't have a hot temperature over here. In fact, the temperature, if we have a look at it, is uh, 18 degrees, 19 degrees. I believe that little shot that I just showed you said 35. So a uh, bit of a difference there. Bit of a difference there. So that means we can't really use the coal generator, and uh, I think I'm going to actually turn this right down here, get this into a deconstruct. Now, this is our... We were trying to deal with the, the chlorine. There's a lot of chlorine here. I still don't know what we're going to do with the chlorine, but we've got a lot of chlorine there. But I also want this to carry on pumping. So we're going to have to try and figure out where to put that. I'm even tempted to make a small pressurized vessel up here. Uh, working towards, if I remember correctly, we've got the aqua tuning. That is nice. Ah, we don't have it quite yet. We're going to work towards this gas reservoir because it'd be nice to have the thermal regulation as well. So I'm going to let that tick over, but also I'm going to come over to this side. Oh, daytime has happened. Everyone is up and moving around because we've got this little area over here. We've got a gas uh, gas geyser down below. It's time we took advantage of that, especially given current circumstances. So let's get on and seal this off. Try and figure out how we're going to get our way over there. I'm going to make a nice big battery room over here. Uh, this might be a little bit too much for misaligned to deal with on our own but you know we're just gonna work like this and i will see you guys in a second well i've got a few things laid out so on this side of the base we've got a crazy plan being hatched about how to deal with the chlorine you can see i set up a little bit of a self-filtering airlock over here it pumps its waste gases up and out this way and then the chlorine that gets filtered out gets pumped into this room that we're going to have over this side hopefully that will deal with everything there back on this side as well as the ridiculous dig skill you know what you know you know what We'll just dig it out as we need it. That that seems like a much better plan. Uh, I've also started putting down a bunch of natural gas generators here. You will notice that they are much more spread out than is technically necessary. Uh, talking of technically necessary, let's put those into a nice high priority there. Yeah, they're much more spread out than they are technically necessary, but that's because last time that I was running one of these in the pre-release, uh, we, we ended up with a massive overheating problem. Everything over here started melting, or everything in the uh, power room started melting. So I'm going to just allow a lot more space for that I think could, could I really get the no I uh, guess I'll see you guys when that's done. The reason that I'm really worried about this setup over here is because we're starting to lose pressure in the base. And I like to keep a nice uh, positive pressure going on in the base for little areas uh, like this. Is anybody going to be coming through here? Uh, you can see that we've got 700 grams on one side and 300 grams on the other. Now, that is kind of the right gradient that we want to have. Because you can imagine if we had 700 on this side but only 300 on this side, every time that door opened, uh, the pressure from the outside would try and push its way in there. Uh, uh, as I think Mad Frank might just be coming to uh, to show us here. Of course, the fact that this is the only source of oxygen to this side of the base is probably a thing, but you can see none of the chlorine got in here, but we did lose a little bit of oxygen. That's uh, not ideal, but it's better than the scenario of the, all the chlorine coming washing in here. Okay, so the power is onto this pump. This should start pulling a little bit of a vacuum in here. I am fine with that. I'm more interested in what's going on. Yeah, what's actually coming out of here. That is also looking good. Mad Frank should have the high priority jobs all around here. So this shouldn't take too long to fill up with all the gas pipes here. I'm hoping that it's just actually going to happen as we're watching. I'm a little bit worried about these floor tiles down here, of course. But as we are moving more pipes around, we've got more places to store all the chlorine. That does go the right way. Look, we've got a little arrow right there. So I'm fairly confident in that being a thing. So let me do a check up to the next items. You see how we can go into the uh, the gas bridge here. Uh, it doesn't think that the pipe's blocked up to the gas bridge, but from thence on, it thinks it's blocked. That's 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 cool. That's cool. It's uh, probably something that we can abuse at some point. I'm not sure how, but I'm sure we can at some point. Okay, I'm just really waiting for people to come down here and get this done. I suppose that's going to wait and see if the uh, actual airlock is working beautifully. Of course, the airlock does take care of all the gases we're likely to run into here. Of course, the uh, oxygen gets put into the base. The carb uh, sorry, the chlorine gets put 
into this room here. And then, of course, the carbon dioxide just kind of falls down here. And eventually we're going to end up with just carbon dioxide down here. I'm not sure what we could do now that we've killed those slicks. And, of course, if I just put them up here, they would have been fine. Okay, the cypher has gone through and made the actual gas vent there. This should be now pumping out a whole bunch of, yeah, there we go, chlorine into the air, not F6, F7, if you will. And this should now just keep on rolling out. Anytime we get some chlorine coming through, it will then be processed down into this room. I think I'm actually going to set this up as a dig. It's not that important that we get a nice big room here, but we'll wait and see. I don't think this gas vent can actually overpressurize the tiles to the point of bursting, but we will keep an eye on that. Oh, and the other thing I meant to do up here, which again, big old waste of duplicates times, but I'm just going to put this here and we're going to wire bridge that across because, uh, well, until we get the whole coal situation sorted again, maybe move some slicks up there and start pumping the carbon dioxide. Maybe we'll have another filter here uh, and then we can just pump stuff from there up. Yeah, that might that might actually work. But yeah, um, we can move the slicks up there. What was I talking about? But until that happens, we uh, can get this natural, uh, this manual generator working. Oh, we got a new little hatchling on the go. Nice. Where's the egg? There's the eggshell. Nice. Okay, cool. We are not set up to get new duplicates at the moment, but I will take a bunch of omelettes. That sounds good. Over down by the power plant over here, it's probably worth pointing out that I have got all these batteries being lined up. Got to get, wait for this pinch of pepper to get uprooted before we can do anything about that. But I'm also moving the ladder from one side to the middle so that I can spread the natural gas generators out just a little bit more. I'm not sure how many uh, room tiles this is actually going to be. It's 90 inside. Well, actually, it's now 100 inside, but obviously with these, there's like four tiles right there. There, that that takes us down to 96 right i'm not sure if that is actually the case but i will get back to you about that one all right sweet just as we made a small little dumping ground for the chlorine we've actually gone and got the reservoir okay that's fair enough i want to get this decontamination next for the carbon skimmer and the deodorizer the deodorizer not so much but that carbon skimmer that is going to become a very useful the carbon skimmer and the water sieve are your basic like tools for taking down all the polluted water polluted gas and stuff like that oh it's great that, that, those are the ones you need all right, awesome. Just as we made a little pressurized vessel for the chlorine, we've gone and got the gas reservoir. That That's cool. I'm not that bothered. Next, I'm going to go for the decontamination because I want the carbon skimmer. The carbon skimmer is really good, believe it or not, for dealing with carbon dioxide. That and the water sieve are going to go together to um, also make us a whole bunch of uh, water. That's, that's going to be great because this thing is going to start producing both carbon dioxide and polluted water. We will turn that polluted water into clean water and then use that to clean up the carbon dioxide. All in all, only costing us dirt sand. Only costing us sand. I'm not sure how, but a priority of one, the coal generator seems to have got restocked. That, that, that's all right. We'll live with that somehow. One thing that we're having a little bit of trouble living with is all this gas that's come out of here. It's made it very difficult for my duplicates to breathe. So I think what I'm going to do, there appears to be a bit of a, an oxygen trap here. So maybe that's going to speed things up a little bit. I would also like to like be able to pump this all out and push it through some different systems. I think that's probably going to be something that we can look forward to at some point, but that's going to take a little bit of time. We might need to actually get a bit of a vent filter just going on here mm, yeah that that might add oh it doesn't want to go there of course it doesn't because there is a ladder there but if i do this this might work out well of course we actually want to filter out maybe like that uh because the it comes out of the middle pipe doesn't it uh the middle output so that would be more useful there so if we deconstruct this one and deconstruct that back one there uh maybe even this one on the corner that should then give us room to put it down and have a uh, an outlook going up here somewhere because you know we don't want to pump chlorine say into here uh and then we will deal with the the natural gas in the usual manner of pumping it into the gas generators instantly better yep brilliant now all they had to do was run up there to get their oxygen back and then they came back down and continued the work hopefully this will now mean that the work isn't going to take quite as long as it was previously also need to figure out what we're going to do with the vent down here we obviously need to go for one of these i actually know i'm going to pop it there for now gas pipe can run up this way like so and then people get an output like that i believe we need to give a space between the gas bridge so i'll do that like so and down and through i said i believe without even actually checking so you might be able to drop that straight on top i'm not entirely certain but i believe okay com keeps complaining about the lack of research at me so i'm gonna go hey all of this please just just you know all of it i'm not sure if the door will count i'm gonna find out i'm gonna find out i want to find a nice easy way down here that doesn't uh join the two rooms together so we're gonna go like this that should work in the ventilation also or is it in the oxygen we've got the carbon skimmer and this is definitely something that does need to go down here 
Okay, so that situation I spoke of where the pressure wasn't going to be high enough to keep the gases out, we have achieved it. Only took a couple of uh, cycles, but we are really having troubles over this side. People don't seem to be wanting to do the jobs for any appreciable length of time. That's because the atmosphere around here is terrible. Now, I could, like, try and work my way through the exosuit lines, and that might be something that I try and do after this project has been finished. But right now, I'm just going to kind of push on if I can, because I need that power. Also, you remember how I said this was a utility tunnel? I really need to uh, make this more utilitarian. So I'm going to pull this over this way. I'm going to move that gas pipe up like that. And then we're going to deconstruct that. And there's also going to be a gas pipe behind it that we also want to deconstruct. That is so that I can go through with the heavy watt plate and come down to this end. I go click. That's pretty good for me. And then hopefully when they get this side done, I can do the same. Oh, no, I went too far over here. I knew one day my little dive room down here would be useful. So I'm trying to build a little back entrance into this because it's taking these guys too long to come down all the way around here, down and across, and then try and build this pump. It's just taking far too long. So I'm hoping the missile line can get through this way before this actually finishes the job. I mean, you never know what's going to happen. Like, did you see how long that, that they had down there? Not very long at all. Slowly becoming unlivable in the base. There's a bit of oxygen up here, though. I didn't realise this was here. Uh, so, uh, yeah, we go, we're just going to have to keep pushing it. Every now and then, someone will come along and start this ticking over, and so a little bit of pressure will build up over here. But at no point have we actually got the full-blown system we were looking for. Of course, this would save all our worries. If only we could get it dug in time. Okay, I instantly hit yellow alert when we got here because, you know, we need to fix this. We need to make sure that we're not spilling out. I might even want to go ahead and do so for these two as well, just to really make sure they get done. Come on, duplicants, do the work. I know like, a, a, a siren might be off-putting in your normal daily lives, but that was quite important. That, that one's not so much. You know, that was so effective last time. Let's do it here now. Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's see who's going on. Decipher number one as soon as you finish the next job. What is more important? I don't know. Mad Frank, he's got his priorities correct. I mean, like, who needs to breathe, really? Really, what's going on there? Uh, Forrest did run away at the last second there. And Mad Frank as well. Hopefully, one of these guys is going to be able to manage it. I would thought that having this all dug through this way would probably help a little bit. But uh, no, turns out not really. Bonus side effect from taking out that vent over there. The bread bedroom's the most breathable area of the whole base. Also, oh my gosh, have you seen all this gas that's escaping into here? We need to do something about it. Natural gas everywhere. Carbon dioxide is not getting to the oxyferns. And we've got starvation? Nah, look, loads of food. Okay, technically we have the self-perpetuating machine right now. I need to give it a little bit of a kickstart with a natural generator. Uh, I don't think I'm going to do that right away though. I think right now I'm going to go look at it. It looks hideous. Uh, we've also done this weird sort of plumbing job over here. It's uh, everything, all the polluted water comes out of these two systems here. It goes over to the water sieve. Then it either comes down and into the carbon scrubber or it comes up. And then we're going to run it through this way. We're going to dump all the heat over here uh, and put the water actually probably right next to the research machine. So through the power of alert abuse, we're going to get Luna on here and running away. We just need a little bit of gas going through. And then we need to set this up, the gas filter. There we go. It's filtering none. That's not what we want, is it? We want to filter natural gas out. And then it should start pouring water down. But of course, we wasted the little bit of power that we had there. Let's have a look and see what's coming out here. we got natural gas. That's looking good. Let's get it going, guys. Just a little bit more. Okay, so now that this has pumped some natural gas down and into the system, this should be self-perpetuating. We're going to slowly fill this up with polluted water, but it's okay. We are on the systems to make that work. And with that, I'm going to say thank you very much for joining me for this adventure, ladies and gentlemen. I will see you next time where we're going to make sure that the power generation is working well. We're going to deal with this excessive amount of natural gas in our, in our base and uh, hopefully actually find those slicks that we talked about like a few episodes ago. But I'll see you then when we're going to do that. Bye.